Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here are some Halloween romances. Here's a room that says perfect to pick up before Halloween, during Halloween, even after Halloween. Whenever you want to read Halloween books, pick these up. So these either have like a Halloween vibe to them or they're books that take place on Halloween or have a Halloween scene in them. So let's get started. The first one that I have is Blood Moon by Jillian Graves. This is a short little novella, as you can tell. This is the romance between a witch and a vampire. Our heroine, who is the witch, she owns a bar for like magical creatures. Um, so in this world, magical creatures like exist with humans, but humans don't know that. They're kind of like glamored and stuff. And she is really devastated because she's losing business. There is this giant club that opened up across the street and a lot of her customers have been going there instead. So she's very, very down on her luck, she feels like. Um, and on Halloween night, I'm pretty sure she goes to her friend's like get together party and she ends up hooking up with this vampire. It was hot, it was fun. Oh my gosh, that scene, that scene specifically when like they hook up, so stinking good so good um but then she realizes like he's now the manager of the club across the street she's like oh no i'm not getting with you again that's not happening like that is against all my morals like no and he's like what's wrong like you can't separate them she's like no no you are running a place that is ruining my dream my like life's work so anyway this one is really good i loved it it's one of my favorite books of the year the year that i read it and it's so hot it also has plus size representation and it, it's so good i love it his darkest craving by tiffany roberts also has a um, halloween vibe to it but also there is a day of halloween in here so this one is about sophie who is our human woman right on the cover she decides to rent a cabin on the edge of this dark wood looks very ominous okay and she's there to write and escape life she's a writer and she hasn't lived the best life recently she doesn't know though that those woods are cursed and they're cursed by Cruz, who is our shadow entity demon he kills every human he comes across he hates humans he slips into her room it's like literally hovering over her about to kill her and he can't do it it's like why can't i kill this human woman i've never been able to not kill someone what is going on so he ends up actually stalking her learning more about her and actually ends up falling for her. So yeah, it's a sexy, hot romance with this shadow entity demon. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that's hot? It totally is. It's so good. So um, essentially he's a cursed fae and this is what he normally looks like. Okay, he was cursed though to be the shadow entity and then he can become his like real true like fae form on Halloween once a year. And so that takes part in this book somehow when you read it. It's really good. If you haven't read this one yet, you need to. It's perfect for the season. Another Halloween one is Made in the Huntress by Talia Hibbert. I'm pretty sure this one also has a day of Halloween, but if not, it's like the perfect Halloween read anyway, because that's to do with werewolves. So our hero is a werewolf shifter and he goes into this coffee house one day and ends up scenting his mate and figure out his mate works there. And he actually comes to the coffee shop like every day trying to get enough nerve up to like go and talk to her because he hasn't done it yet. He's like so shy and nervous, he doesn't know what to do. But little does he know that the heroine already knows what he is, knows he's a werewolf. Turns out she comes from a long line of werewolf hunters and she sees her first werewolf and decides, oh my gosh, this is it. I finally get to kill my first wolf. So our werewolf hero is totally smitten. He goes and asks her out on a date and she thinks this is the perfect opportunity to kill her first werewolf and when she tries to do it he falls even more in love with her he's like oh my gosh this woman is so strong so capable i freaking love her like he, he's just enraptured by her she can do no wrong in his eyes even try to kill him <laughs> i think this does take place on halloween or uh shortly before it and there is a scene on halloween day it's a great and old read a great paranormal romance and i need talia to write more paranormal romances because these are so sticking good next is dare or death by kl mann this is a short little novella so if you want a novella especially for the novellathon we're doing the novellathon um <laughs> definitely put this one up this is an mmf phantom ghost no demon demon not ghost sorry demon creature romance um so the heroine goes to this college and she's more of a wallflower shy girl but she gets roped into this popular crowd doing like a seance if you will for this demon on halloween night in the gym at the college this demon is very intrigued by our heroine so by summoning this demon you either have to do the dare the demon tells you to or he kills you it's a little dark but it's actually really fun so if you want an mmf demony halloween book definitely pick this one up next is lady venom takes a mistress this one doesn't play take place on halloween because this is a fantasy uh fantasy book so just be aware of that but this is perfect for the halloween season um this is a sapphic 
like demoness romance. So our heroine, um, who's a human, is running away from her village. Her villagers are trying to kill her because I think they found her with a woman and that's like blasphemous and frowned upon and they're like gonna kill her. And she runs on to this property where our heroine, our other heroine, where Lady Venom lives and Lady Venom protects her and is like, for saving your life, you now have to be my mistress. And she teaches her things and it's really hot. It's really good and it's really fun. <laughs> but it's a grand old time to read during Halloween. Like there are like snakes and other creatures in here that are so creepy but fun. I obviously have to mention like Layla Fay books. So Jack and Jack number two, Jack two, I would definitely recommend. Jack is a hilarious and fun and hot romance um, with a creature who has a jack o lantern for a head um, and his name's Jack and that's basically it. <laughs> it's a short little novella and then Jack 2 is that couple's son like Jack Jr. Um, finding his person whose name is Ava who may or may not have been named after me so just letting you know maybe read that one um, but yeah those are two perfect ones for Halloween. You should definitely pick them up because they're so fun and bizarre like they're bizarre books but they're really fun at the same time. Next is Riding the Headless Horseman. This one I read last Halloween and it's another short little novella so again for the novella Thon. You could have read also both Jack books for the novel thon as well. This one, our heroine basically falls for the Headless Horseman, and that's it. That's why I, I, I can't really say anything else because it is a novella. Burn for Jack is an interesting one. <laughs> this is a uh, darker, more gruesome novella, so please be aware of that. But um, let's just say it's a very dark Halloween read with like Jack the Pumpkin King. <laughs> Again, another one like I can't really, can't really talk about because it's so short. <laughs> and lastly, I'd love to recommend Ghosts of Halloween by Layla Fay. Um, I've read snippets of this book. I have not fully read it yet, but I plan to very soon. I've read snippets of it. But this book is still like book talk by Storm apparently. Um, this one is about three ghosts who live in this haunted mansion and they have like skulls for faces and they end up kidnapping the woman they believe is responsible for all of their deaths and they want revenge on her. So it's an MMMF romance with like sword crossing and everyone's together and stuff. So it looks really hot, sounds really hot. The scenes that I've read are really hot. So, <laughs> um, and yeah, the title is Ghosts of Halloween. So obviously Halloween is involved. Anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 romances that are perfect to read for the Halloween season for October. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a orange heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.